Well, this viral video from a few years ago actually shows a javelina in a full out sprint along a Tucson street. I've never seen this video. Uh, that burst of speed might surprise you, but it's not the only thing surprising about javelina. Here's what makes them absolutely Arizona. Sometimes they're called pigs, which they're not. Right. They're peccary native to Central and South America. There's a, a population in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Mark Hart with Arizona Game and Fish is very familiar with javelina. He understands our fascination with them here in Southern Arizona, but he reminds us to keep our distance. Yes, I think a lot of people do get excited about seeing them, but bear in mind, they have very sharp canine teeth, tusks as they're known. They can cause serious puncture wounds. Usually slow moving, javelina can run up to 25 miles per hour for short bursts. They live 10 to 20 years. Javelina are mostly herbivores and love prickly pear fruit and pads. They're known for their distinct odor produced by a musk gland on their back. It helps them identify each other and it helps them mark their territory, usually an area of one to three miles. And yes, javelina cannot see well. Oh, they definitely have poor eyesight. You could be out walking one evening and see a group of javelina that start moving closer to you and you think, oh, I'm about to be charged. Probably not. They smell you, but they can't see you and they're trying to get closer so they can see. A group of javelina is actually called a squadron. Squadrons usually average six to ten javelina, but could be as large as 50. Females usually have two babies per litter and can have two litters a year. The youngsters are known as reds because of their red or tan color. They lose that in about three months, but like mothers everywhere, javelina moms will react very instinctively to a perceived threat to their youngster. That's where the real danger begins. Arizona Game and Fish stays busy with calls about people being attacked by javelina, especially when trying to protect their dog. Javelina mistake dogs for their biggest threat, coyotes. You will know when a javelina is alarmed because the hair on its back will stand up. They bristle. And if you see a javelina doing that, be careful. Yes, I go the other way. <laughs> Lisa Bates is the founder of the Tucson Wildlife Center. She has a lot of respect for javelina, but she also sees what happens when the growing metro area encroaches on their territory. The Wildlife Center often care for adult javelinas hit by cars and baby javelinas separated from their mother. Tucson Wildlife Center has had success, like with this baby javelina, reuniting it with its mother near Tanka Verde Ranch. That was a good story. There, there's lots of good reuniting stories. So the quicker you can go back and find the herd, the better. So the public, if they find a lone baby, uh, best thing is try to leave it alone for a little while and see if the herd comes back. And if they don't, then call us and we can keep the baby going. We will go back and keep looking for that herd. And keep the estimated 60,000 javelina in our state alive and well. Javelina are just one of the cool species we have in the desert. A species that is absolutely Arizona. And a real quick reminder, the Tucson Wildlife Center is actually our giving project nonprofit for the month. So if you'd like to donate and help their efforts so with the injured and separate javelina, use the QR code you see right there on the screen or head over to kgon9.com to uh, donate. Uh, Mark Hart uh, also says it's the same thing we talked about at 5 o'clock with, with coyotes. Don't leave dog food out because uh, javelina love it. Javelina love to tip over garbage cans, so be careful about that as well because they're very hard to take care of, you know, to protect. And, and, and once they get normalized to humans, that's when you have problems. I, uh, being a dog mom, I am very scared. Yeah, I know you are. I know you are. terrified. I've got a little one, and if they can't see him, they'll think he's a coyote. And, you know, you, it, you hear about the attacks that happen. That's right. So you have to respect them, mm -hmm. but they're kind of cool at the same time. From a be, distance. Yeah, from a distance. <laughs> but the babies. Oh, the babies. Oh, the babies are cute. Kyler? I would second that. Uh, most baby animals are pretty cute, and then they do mm. get to be a little bigger and a little more dangerous. So, <laughs> yeah, be careful out there. Well.